Well, me and me are out bright and early, and we got to have our walk down to our boat to get ready to float and go sailing. Last cup of tea, and we're on our way. Well, it's ten to eight. We got on the boat. We've got everything up and running, all by disconnecting our hang our lines. Both engines started. Just hope this one's going to restart, and everything's fitted, and we're ready off the outer markers. Okay, I've left them all in. I'm making my way down the, to the um, estuary. It's a little bit before high water, so there's no current at the moment. But with the engine on tick over like that, I'm doing 1.5 knots. So by the time the, the tide picks up, I should be doing all right. But um, if I rub this engine, it'll use a lot of fuel. So it um, won't go anywhere any faster. Anyway, let's see how long it takes to get out there. The time is now 8 o'clock, dead on. Well, it's a slow trip out over this bar, so um, while I'm tacking across the estuary past the White House over here, I thought I'd come in and make myself a quick tea, let the autopilot get me to the outer boy, and now it's time for me to take over again, I think. Just gonna miss the boy as we planned. Well, it just took me 45 minutes to get down to the lighthouse from my mooring. Now I'm going to try and cut it short across here to save myself time. Fingers crossed, I've got plenty of jet fuel at the moment. Well, I've been going for an hour and five minutes, and I'm just coming up onto the third buoy, the one that, um, when we get to it, we turn out and we go straight out over the bar. So there she is ahead of us now, we've been about five minutes. That's an hour and five minutes to get away from my base. Well, like I've always said, I come in here and go out of here on days when there's no wind, you know, nice calm days, and you end up with more swell and rubbish on the water like this, and surf on there, than you do on a bad day. Look at that, the way it's chucking us about. And this is a, a calm day, there's no wind at all. So, let's see how it's going to behave. Once we get out there, in a minute I can level out and go straight out over the bar. And then we'll be, um, well, I can just over two and drink two all day if I go. Right, there's the um, pulley that's right on the end of the tunnel, so what I call the tunnel going out. And now I'm lined up on um, what I call DDD, which is my mark. And now uh, I'll keep that head on there. And we're going straight out over the bar, in between all the, the crap water there and there. But like I say, even on a calm day, no wind, this is the sort of shit you get on the bar. But it's nothing, it just pisses you off. So, let's get out there and make a day of it. There's some shit out here on the calm days, I'll tell you. And it would be nice if we had the sails up because it would be pulling us along, but as it is, we're just bouncing about like peas in a fucking pod. I mean, peas in a fucking pod. Nice, man, it's good fun. You pay for this at a fun fair, pay for for ten fucking minutes, isn't it? There's the other pulley, we're just coming up past it now. It's um, as rough as old boots as you can see, but there you go, and you can see how fast we're going. 100 mile an hour. Fucking joking it. I'm gonna have a day out here pissed right off, I can see it coming off. I think I'm gonna end up sitting, going down with the tide and coming back with the tide. Just coming up to the, the really outside marker now, which is the one which is actually on the bar. So in a minute, ten minutes to be over the bar, but it's not far. Two hours to get over the bar. 
46 minutes. I'm between the outside pulley and the fairway marker. That took an hour and 46 minutes to get there. I've now got both sails up and we're heading out, basically still heading straight for the fairway marker at 1.6 knots. It's probably more tide than wind, but we'll see what we can get in a minute. I'll put a head in for Lundy and see what's happening. Well, I just spoke to my mate Daniel, and um, he's two miles ahead of me. He's in the mist bar over there. We should clear by the time I get there. And at the moment, we're doing just one knot with the sails up, tiller's tied down, and red in to North Orlando. We're just slightly going to hit the North Orlando, but we'll alter that when we get there. But for now, this is the best track angle I can get, and we're going along quite well. In this next to nothing breeze, we're doing bloody very well. Two hours, 33 minutes. To get to the outside bar, the outside fairway marker. Two hours, 33 minutes. There's barely any wind, but we're doing one knot. And playing with this fairway marker all day. Boing, 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 because we ain't fucking going though, we're fast. Fucking ridiculous. Not a breeze, just enough to throw the shells up. And it, no miles per hour. No miles per hour. Well, we got about a two mile an hour breeze. And I'm going into wind the little bit of breeze we got and this thing is going along one knot and it's not supposed to go into wind without that dagger board what a load of bollocks it's going like a beauty just wish there was a bit more wind well time's 2.23 and we still ain't gone nowhere we've just been going up and down hope to going down a little bit of speed going up. Hope two going down. A little bit of speed going up. So I'm just going backwards and forwards between Baggy Point and Cavelli. And it's, it's bloody cold, the breeze that there is. But I've two at the moment. But um, I don't ever stay out. I don't ever get back in and go and sort out a bloody propeller or another engine. Fucking brilliant little engine, but the prop on it ain't worth a wank. So, um,. Yeah, try and get another fucking prop. So, over to now, cup of tea time. Can I drink it, Vera? Yeah. Well, it's just gone 3.15, and I'm still trapped in the horseshoe. I got um, two tack angles. One to take me down to Bucks Mills, or slightly to the left of Bucks Mills, now the tide's coming in. And the other one, to take me to Baggy Point. So I'm stuck in the horseshoe going from one side to the other. So at the moment I'm hope to just riding it out and um, I'm going to head in about six o'clock and see what it's doing tomorrow. I might come out again tomorrow or I might try and get a prop for this engine. So um, anyway, it's a nice little trip. The boat's working perfect. So end of. Okay, Lira. You'll be glad to get in for a previews, won't you? Yeah! Nice bit of swell for you. It's swell out here, there, huh? It's a swell time, isn't it? That's all it is, though. Just normal sea swell. Calm as the day you were fucking born. But, it's a breeze. Like I said, we can go backwards and forwards at two mile an hour. But, I don't want to go backwards and forwards at two mile an hour. About three hours before high water, so should be alright. By the time we get in, be um, just ready to get on the mooring. These are our big tides, are in between. It's still end of a horrible day. Well, it was a good day going up and down here, but um, not really for me. So anyway, we're on heading now for DGG, which is the second boy in, or the first, um, first pretty in. And we'll be there in about 20 minutes. So I, I come in early 
and um, it is now exactly two hours before I water and I'm coming down in front of the ball walk. So hopefully I should have no trouble getting on my mooring. Time for a beer and see the boys. I think that's the inner pulley. Because the next one's the red one and I don't think they call that a pulley. So the red one and the lighthouse. Just let the Oldenburg pass me, all the tourists and people on there. And he, he must have been 30 feet from me as he went by. He steamed by. <laughs> that was fantastic. Anyway, here we are coming up by the life at the lighthouse now. And we're straightening out there for home. Just coming up on our moorings now. Took roughly an hour and a half to get in from the outer marker. Well, from the fairway boy. I want to have ain't too bad at all. So, um, not a lot of water here, but I think there's enough for me to get on me more in. Got 1.4 as I'm going around the outer boys here. Fingers crossed to get on the more in and it's another trip successfully over. It was only eventful. We got on the more in. It was only just, just a metre and a half underneath us. Probably two, because I've got a safety margin built in. But there you go, John's on his boat. We're home now, safe. Alright, there are. You're home safe, another day over. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, because we certainly didn't. Well, we did really. Catch you later on your flip flop. Bye for now, guys.